I've always been on the side of inspiration is good, but Deviator is much more of a PAL world than, say, a Crowsworn. The trailer dropped, and let's just say if there was ever a time Team Cherry might put a cease and assist out, it would be for this game. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, we all know about Gleamlight, a game heavily inspired by Hollow Knight but lacking in any good mechanics, gameplay, or really anything. Lotus Knight is at the top of everyone's wish list. We are all waiting for a hopefully 2024 release date for this hype game. There's really a ton of Hollow Knight inspired games on the horizon. The fact of the matter is, until they come out, we can't really make a valid judgment on games like Nine Souls, Bow, Crowsworn Constance, and Twilight Monk. These are all games we can see take inspiration from Hollow Knight, but all of them, through gameplay and visuals, seem to want to take Hollow Knight ideas and put an interesting twist on them. Deviator doesn't seem to want to do much at all to reiterate on Hollow Knight's formula, even its combat which is supposedly Sekiro-inspired, but even it has problems that we will talk about. But obviously, we first need to talk about the visuals, and why this is such a huge, blatant ripoff. When I wouldn't say the same thing of Crowsworn, for example. The very, very obvious comparison that most people will point out is this boss-slash-reused enemy asset. This is the Hunter from Hollow Knight. Look, everyone wanted this to be a boss in the base game. But I don't think anyone expected us to finally get to fight this moss beast in a different game by a totally unrelated development team. Despite a color swap, the body is the same lithe shape, and while Hollow Knight doesn't have exactly a copyright on eyes shadowed in a bush, I mean come on, even I can't think of a defense for this. But look, this isn't even the half of it. The biomes are all either from Hollow Knight or the Silk Song trailer with a few trinkets and baubles added in. I mean, there is literally a shot from the Silk Song trailer that is just too close to this one. We've got Lime, Green Path, Silk Song, Clock Tower, The Shrubbery of Bones, actually just Deep Nest. Look, I personally don't understand how people are so creatively bankrupt that they can't think of a single other way to make a biome look than from what they are very obviously tracing over Hollow Knight's art. Look, Hollow Knight fans are desperate for Silk Song, I get that, but there's absolutely no way anyone would buy this except for memes or content creation. And we haven't even begun to talk about the gameplay. And I'm gonna say it, they made a mistake in showing so much in the reveal, cause it is just not great. For starters, the combat is supposedly Sekiro inspired, but the boss attacks are so simple and so immobile, and there are so few that you literally just stand there, press to parry, and then flail your sticky arm back and forth for a bit. Like look at this fight, there is no dynamic intense movement. This doesn't feel like a fast paced intense boss battle, it feels like a snoozy JRPG turn based fight. We've got Hollow Knight's charm system, which look, it's a great system, which Hollow Knight got from Paper Mario and many modern Metrovanias are using from it, like Ori 2 and of course the recent Amazing Prince of Persia game. And obviously you have spells like a ranged attack, which isn't entirely actionable on its own, but like, come on, I don't think anyone is being fooled at this point. I mean, look at the HUD just slathered in lifeblood. And look, topping all of this off, the art style oddly doesn't even match up, like the mushroom boss looks like he started out as a small enemy, but they just scaled him up so the line art is inconsistent with everything else. There's like one cool idea in here with the movement platform line box thing, but with everything else this game represents, I'm just gonna assume that it has been done in the exact same way, artwork and all, and these devs just ripped that as well. You know what the absolute funniest thing about this is? We already have a Hollow Knight meets Sekiro game in Nine Souls coming up, and it's such a better take on what that can be like, and it's more unique, it's got better, more consistent art style, the game plays fire. I've played a ton of that game as a backer, and everything that Deviator, its that name sounds so dumb out loud, but everything that Deviator does, Nine Souls just does better with more creativity. It's honestly ironic that Deviator fails to deviate on anything it presents us with, and unless this is all just placeholder art, assets, and gameplay, I fail to see how anyone would choose this over all the amazing upcoming games that are similar. I get that Silk Song is taking a long time to come out, but considering how many actually good quality games we are getting in the meantime, like recently released Prince of Persia with its amazing boss fights and I made a video about them, you should watch it, and of course all of these upcoming games, it just doesn't seem like there is a place for success for Deviator in its current state. Look. We all hope the devs see the feedback and enact some kind of changes, but with such a blatant game like this, it's pretty safe to say at this point that devs don't care about the reception, they just care about milking the most desperate fans for a few dollars. So I guess let's see if that works out for them.